you know, he, uh, I think he's starting to come into his own. You know, he had a good rookie year in Tampa. Then he was beset by some injuries, you know, in Tampa uh, with the wrist. And then when we got to San Diego, uh, he was hampered uh, a little bit when I was there. But I think now he's finally, he's finally settled into a place in his career where he feels, you know, comfortable as a major league player and a major league hitter. Uh, you know, his strength is the ability to hit the ball to all fields, uh, which, you, which you saw tonight. You know, you saw the ball down the left field line. Uh, you saw a ball uh, hit to right field. You saw a ball hit to left center. So, you know, he's a talented young player. Uh, I think that uh, a lot of people in this game saw that early on, and uh, he's, he's realizing that potential. What were your thoughts on Tyler's <clears throat> You know, Tyler uh, hung in there two runs into the sixth. Then, you know, if you really look at those pitches that uh, Myers hit the 0-2 fastball that was riding up and out of, you know, basically if he, I mean, it's a ball, you know, at 95 miles an hour up in the strike zone. That doesn't get hit like that. It's, you know, it's, it's a very good player who can do that. And then the walk came back to haunt him, you know, the 3-2 walk to uh, the third baseman. And then Renfro hit, you know, hit a low fastball at the knees, you know, sort of got underneath it. It was very similar to the pitch that he rolled to shortstop in the fourth inning. This pitch was just a little bit out over the middle of the plate, but down. And Renfro sort of golfed it. Uh, you know, he just squared it up. And, you know, he's a big, strong young man. And he hit it in the air and hit it, uh, hit it over the fence. It's funny, the captain, there's a lot of times you feel kind of weak and you don't work right. and stuff. Have you seen it? You know, probably not to the point, uh, you know, that we've discussed. You know, we'll get him there, Patrick, over time. I think that, uh, you know, again, I think this is a, you know, this is a process that, you know, Tyler has to has to get to to, to utilize the change and the curveball. We saw some good changeups tonight. Uh, you saw a couple of strikeouts to Solarte with the change. You saw a uh, third baseman uh, with a strikeout on the change. Uh, he threw some good changeups. Now we get the curveball into the mix. We'll have four very solid major league pitches. What do you think of performance You know, uh, again, I think he just he had us off balance. You know, he you know he had the breaking ball. It looked like it was a couple different breaking balls and enough fastball velocity to keep us honest. Uh, you know, mixed in a couple changeups. We just we just couldn't really solve. You know, any of his stuff. Even though we had him in you know we had him in deep counts. Uh, we had, we ran his pitch count up a little bit. We had some guys on base. Uh, we just couldn't string any at bats together to, you know, to man to get any to manufacture any runs. No, I think every one of them has pitched. <clears throat> uh, nobody's been knocked out of the game early, right? Okay. Uh, I think all of them have pitched at least into the fifth. I know John didn't get out of the fifth, but uh, I mean, if we want to track all eight games, uh, again, nobody's pitched into the seventh, but every, everybody's gotten to the fifth. No. No. I don't think so, Mark. But obviously you miss Desmond's bat in the lineup, but you don't miss him much with Mark Reynolds. Reynolds is doing his he's doing his thing. Uh, that was a big swing off a of, you know, a big fastball by Maurer. Uh, Mark's hitting you know, what is he at three fifty? And he's got his homers, he's got his RBIs, uh, he's playing defense. Uh, he's he's doing a great job, no doubt about it. No. I think he's a good player. He's going to get his hits. He's going to get his hits. I think that was more of a function of, you know, getting some other guys involved early in the year, give them a start, get them some at bats. I have one more question about DJ. They were having extreme outfield shift on him. And yes. Pay by pulling it yeah. Left. To straight away left? Yeah, and then he goes the other way with the, with the home run. Right. That, that shows you that how far he's developed. Yeah. Right. Well, I think that again. I think he uses the whole field. You know, for my my time of you know managing against DJ, I know that he's an all field hitter. You know, I saw that in spring training. You know, line to line hitter. Uh, again, he's capable of pulling the ball. Uh, he's capable of hitting the ball down the right field line. He's capable of hitting the ball in the left field gap. 
is capable of hitting the ball in the right center field gap. So uh, he's a good hitter. I think he led the National League in hitting last year. How about that? How about that? Parts of three innings? Uh, potentially, if the if, you know, if, um, you guys are gonna get tired of me saying this, but every game's unique. We never know how it's gonna play out. If there's a need for him to do that and he's pitching well, and his spot in the order isn't coming around, and we can do some potentially, 